Q-type number four. This um, Q-type is um, another one that I usually do gravitate towards because it is my predominant learning style, and that is the tactile Q. Now, tactile doesn't necessarily mean that it is only you as the instructor applying touch to um, help guide somebody. You can also guide your client to use self-touch. So for example, if we're trying to get somebody to understand where their pelvis is in space, we might ask them to put their fingertips on their pubic bone and the heels of their hands on their hips, forming sort of a flat triangle across the front. And then we can rock the hips backwards and forwards or side to side, or we can do circles until we have found a position that feels comfortable um, and that would often be referred to as neutral. Um, and we can then move from that position. So whether you apply touch or whether you instruct your client to apply touch, it's still a tactile cue. Now, when we're using tactile cues, it's super important that we ask permission to touch. So that is the most important thing when we're working with people is don't just assume that they're gonna be happy for you to touch, correct them. Please do ask. We don't know everything that that human being has been through in their life and through their journey when they come to you. And then